Good morning. It's 5.30. We've been up since 4. The sun is just starting to come up. We're going to climb this big mountain behind us. Where is it? There it is. No, can't see it. <laughs> Hang on. This is the start of our morning. It's just going up here. It'll be okay. Vince's knee is hurting, but we're going to get off this mountain today. We got this. I'm also at the top of the first hill. <clears throat> Sun's starting to come up over the mountain now. Darn it. Be in the heat soon. Mountainside coffee. Halfway up the hill coffee break. <laughs> Cheers. Water. More water. Library. A little pantry with some snacks in it. A log book. A little hiker box. I'm not sure what that is. And people and seats. <laughs> All right, we had a quick break at the water source, at the water cache. Um, there's a guy that lives about half a mile from there. Oh, Jesus, where'd he go? Oh, hang on. Hey there! <laughs> that was weird. Um, anyways, he lives half a mile away and he fills up those two 55 gallon drums from his well. And then also um, there's a bunch of like one gallon bottle or, or four gallon bottles as well. So, like that's amazing because there is such little water through the stretch again. They've been doing it, for, him and his brother have been doing it for 17 years. Like this, I don't think people could hike this. They couldn't be able to carry the amount of water that, that is needed for the stretch without that. So thank you. Um, I don't know their names, but they are true angels. So now we have mostly downhill. Um, it's 9.30 now, mostly downhill. There's a couple little little hills um, and we have nine and a half miles to go so yeah that'll probably take us maybe let's say four hours four and a half hours maybe depending on the hills and if we stop for lunch and stuff so we might just snack on the go because we're eager to get into town so we'll see purple flowers everywhere I think this, well, it was a burnt area, you can tell, because there's no tall trees, and there's burnt logs, oh, I gotta squeeze through this, burnt logs everywhere, but what's left behind, or what's grown in its place, are all these paths of purple flowers, they're very pretty, look at them, whole fields of them. And there's the wind turbines that they need to turn up because it's getting hot. So that'd be great if they could turn them all on and face them all towards me, please. So we've got six point, about 6.5 left to go for the day. So we're trying to push through, eat on the run, and get to town. More flowers. I'm enjoying this downhill. I love being up in the mountains, but the climbs are brutal sometimes with a heavy pack and heavy water. And I love sleeping in my tent, but I do miss the creature comforts of a shower, a toilet that flushes, a toilet period, <laughs> and Sprite. Cold, crispy Sprite. Those are the things I miss. Packing up your stuff? We found the only shady tree out here. <laughs> yeah. Just had some lunch. Sat for about half an hour. Took our shoes and socks off. It's really good to do that at your break because it just helps your feet refresh a little bit. And also dries out my sweaty socks. Uh, we've got about four and a half miles to go for the day. Yay! There's a few more on this side. They said Tehachapi was supposed to be really windy, and it is not. It is hot. 
think we're about two and a half miles now to the road. But yeah, look at them all. And then we gotta get a hold of a trail angel when we get there because Vince got some, he ordered some like dehydrated broccoli and stuff like that from Walmart. And Walmart is hard to get shipped to general delivery at a post office. So um, there's a trail angel that accepted the packages for him. So they said call when you get in town. We're hoping they'll come pick us up too, but we'll see. But yeah, look at all these windmills. There's quite a few of them out here. It's funny we notice that they turn actually, and uh, never towards me though. And during, it's almost like peak time, you can see them come on and I don't know if we're just thinking that's what happens or it's just a coincidence, but it seems like kind of peak energy times when you think people be using energy, they come on. At nighttime, like they're, they don't move. And then, you know, starts around 6 a.m., they start firing up. So, I don't know. If anybody knows anything about these, tell me if that's true or not. We're getting closer to the Mojave Desert floor. It's getting hotter. Every switchback we take that takes us lower, it gets hotter. Oof. And a little trivia for you. Um, if you guys watch Wild with Reese Witherspoon, playing um, the character, or I guess the real person, Cheryl Strayed. Um, Cheryl Strayed actually was a section hiker of the PCT, not a through hiker. And she started in the Mojave and then hiked all the way up to Cascade Locks, Oregon, where she still lives today in Oregon. So yeah, those scenes of her at the beginning of the movie where she's so hot and doesn't have water and all that stuff, that's where I am. <laughs> One mile to go to the road. Vince has pulled out my little thermometer that I keep on my backpack that I keep tucked into a little pocket and it says it's 38 degrees Celsius. Like, double it and add 30 for Fahrenheit. My brain is not working right now. It's too hot. Hey guys. Okay, so we're booked in at the Best Western, and... What are you doing, <laughs> We're just washing our hands and face, and then we're gonna go get food, because once we all shower, then we don't wanna put our dirty clothes back on, so we have to put that in the laundry. And then Vince is gonna get a hold of the people, well, I already got text of the person that has his packages, they're gonna drop them off. But one of his Walmart items was delayed until Tuesday, and we're Yay. leaving Monday, so I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do about that yet. What are you doing, Jen? Ew, <laughs> you breathe on me. Get away. You smell. <laughs> You're filthy. Get away. <laughs> so we're going to go get some food. So we had food at Taco Sandwich. It was okay. I had a taco salad. Their salsa was so spicy that like, you could barely even eat a little drip of it. And then Vince put it. Yes, I'm making a video. <laughs> but Vince put it. I hated it. it. <laughs> you hated this. It was good. Captain hated the salsa. It was too spicy. You could barely enjoy it. He's from Canada. Yes, we are soft. <laughs> <laughs> but that Vince ate all the salsa though. He put it all in his salad and ate nice. it. So. Look at this beautiful grass. We could just tent right there. There's no rocks there. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you smell like pee now. I smelled like pee before, only it was my pee. <laughs> Wow. So, end of the day. Well, it's like 6 o'clock. We made it to the hotel. Um, everyone's, well, three people have had a shower now. I'm just waiting to get into the shower. We did 13.4 miles today, which is around 21 kilometers. A lot of it, we had a big climb this morning, 2,000 feet, and then it was all downhill into to Hatchby. Had a really nice trail angel named Oblivious give us a ride um, and he said we can contact him on Monday when we're ready to get back on trail and he'll take us to the post office and the trail. Um, looks like the next section is going to be a lot more of uh, long, dusty, dry, sweaty climbing areas with not a lot of water. So yeah, that should be fun. So we're going to, tomorrow we're going to resupply um, and package up our food and stuff and then Monday, we have to wait for the post office to open on Monday, and then we'll head back on the trail. So, until next time. I almost forgot my gratefulness of the day. So today, definitely the trail angels that make those water caches. 
um, possible. It would be, I don't even know if you could do this section without that giant water cache that we ended up at the, with the big 55 gallon um, drums there. So thank you so much again to people that maintain those water caches and to the trail angels that are just hanging out the trailheads, dropping people off in town and refusing money for it. Like it makes our day a lot better. We'd have a really hard time getting into town if it wasn't for that. So thank you very much.